Hello everyone, this is Spluff5. Today I'm going to be starting a brand new series called Industrial Craft for Dummies. I'm going to be doing a complete tutorial on every aspect of industrial craft. For those of you who do not know what industrial craft is, industrial craft is a mod for Minecraft that adds electricity and all manner of industrial things like this tree. Anyway, we'll get into that tree later. It's a pretty cool mod. It's uh, one of the first mods I ever learned about. I'm using the FTB Direwolf pack, so just so you know that, I'm not using Ticket. I only use Ticket when I need to go on that server that I've showed you in my two previous videos. No, this is FTB. So, this is the first episode of Industrial Craft for Dummies. Okay, to get started in Industrial Craft, you're going to need to find one of these trees here. As you can see, if I quickly head into video settings, my graphics are at fast. But these, this trees leaves a see-through. That's one of the ways to tell if it's one of these trees. Also, it has three leaf blocks sticking up from the top and the wood is really dark. This is a rubber tree. And what these rubber trees are used for is getting rubber. How we get rubber is if you find one of these trees and you look around it, you might find an orange spot on the trunk. Now, not all rubber trees have this, but it's quite common for them to have it. So, what you need to do with this spot is, I have any eye installed. I have all the mods installed with the Direwolf 20 pack. What you need to do is get this thing called a tree tap, which is made with wooden planks of any kind in that shape. Those are wooden planks from various mods, but any kind of wooden plank will do. Oak, birch, jungle, acacia, balsa wood, redwood, anything. So, oh, oh, it's getting dark. I have any eye in cheat mode just because this is not like a survival let's play. This is just a tutorial. So what you need to do is grab your tree tap in your hand, go up to the orange spot, and right click. Now, it will sp the orange spot will disappear, and it will spit out one to three of this thing called sticky resin. Now, what sticky resin is, is it's the raw product used to make rubber. And as you can see on the trunk, there's still kind of a hole there. Um, that will eventually regrow the sticky resin on it, so you can tap it again and again and again and again and again. But if you tap it again when it's empty, it will destroy the spot, but it will give you more resin. But I recommend leaving it so it can grow more resin. Now, a good thing to do is when you find these, they're most commonly found in swamp biomes, but they can be found in other biomes too. When you find one of these, is to chop it down completely. Get all the leaves and things and bring the saplings back to your base. They don't have as high a drop rate of saplings as a normal oak or birch tree. This is much lower, so I seriously suggest taking the saplings back with you. Oh, lag spike, lag, 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 lag. In fact, I might just turn some settings down. Uh, particles decreased. Smooth lighting off. That should do the trick. There we go, much smoother. Right. Oh, and see, they can have more than one resin spot on them. So I'm just going to tap this one as well. And I'll demonstrate what happens if you tap it more than once. Right, you tap it once. You get the resin out. I got two resin that time. You tap it again. You get more resin out. Tap it again. It disappears, but you get quite a bit of resin. Also, I always get an axe here quickly. And diamond axe, because it's fastest. It, when you, I recommend chopping it down as well because the wood is quite useful in itself. When you chop it down, the wood has a chance to drop one of the resin as well. Now, what 
this wood is actually pretty useless as a wood. It only gives you three planks instead of four. And um, you can't turn it directly into charcoal. You have to smelt it into jungle wood and then turn the jungle wood into charcoal. So yeah, that's annoying. So it's not very useful as a wood, but it's useful for getting rubber. If you place it back down... Uh, none of the pieces you place will have any resin on it, so keep that in mind. Yeah. Okay, that is rubber trees for you. Now, the next thing is the two ores that this adds. It adds both the ores copper and tin. I'll quickly get myself a pickaxe to show you this. Both can be mined with a stone pickaxe, but I'm going to use diamond because it's faster. I know where some is. Right, we'll go down to this little cave here. Right, this here is copper, this orangish one. And this here is tin, this kind of bluish silver one. Let's mine those. Now, these, if you, wait, let me start there. If you just have industrial craft installed, these ores will look quite different, but you'll still probably be able to tell what they are. But since I've got other mods installed, they look kind of a bit more shiny. So just keep that in mind. Don't panic if they look a little bit different. Okay. So these are obviously smeltable. Let's just get a furnace. Pop it down our furnace. Um, yep, get some coal, and we'll smelt it. In fact, I'll only smelt one, just to make, speed things along. Now, this will smelt, obviously, into tin and copper ingots. Copper is used mainly for conducting electricity, and tin is used for making kind of containment units. So that's what a tin ingot looks like, and don't panic if it looks a little bit different. It's just because you don't have all the mods I have installed, or your configs are a little different. Don't panic, it will still work exactly the same. So those are the two ingots, and they are quite good. I mean, yeah, they look kind of shiny and nice. Um, you can turn them into nuggets as well. If you've got red power installed, which is another mod, you have to have red power installed to do that. Right, now this furnace is slow. Extremely slow. So what can we do about that? We can make an iron furnace. This is an industrial craft item. It is just a, basically just a bit faster furnace. Well, you can look at it two ways. It's faster and it's more efficient. Like you can smelt 10 items with a piece of coal instead of eight. But that's only because it smelts them faster and the coal burns for the same amount of time. But anyway, you make it either with a ring of iron ingots, just iron, normal vanilla iron, or a kind of pyramid shape of iron ingots with a normal furnace in the middle. To grab some of those. Um, it looks pretty snazzy. Uh, it's iron and furnace looking. And if we get some... Ore of some description. Let's get some gold ore. Pop it in. I'll just use my rubber wood as fuel. You can but directly burn rubber wood. It's a little bit faster. What's that? Oh, it's invisibility cool. You mind? Ah, uh, yeah, it's a little bit faster at smelting. See? A bit faster than a normal furnace. So, that's nice. And um, one log in normal Minecraft gives you about one and a half um, smelts. But in this, I think it gives you two and a quarter. So, yeah, with the iron furnace. So that's just a nice add-on for an industrial craft. I'm only doing basics today. Okay, um, the next thing, I'm going to try and keep these tutorials relatively short so you can absorb the information and kind of think about it. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. Um... Um, blocks also. You can craft the copper and tin into, that's bronze, a copper block, oh, that's a machine block, never mind, or a tin block, and 
these, they look pretty nice. You'd need a lot of copper and tin to make them, but they're actually a really nice building material. Like the tin would make an excellent kind of spacey look. And the copper looks kind of bronzy, so you could use it for an expensive looking building. Like that's silver and that's kind of bronze colored, so you could have bronze silver and then you could have gold blocks as like some kind of metal system or maybe a bank or something. I don't know. The creativity's up to you. So, what should I show next? Let's just flip through any eye. Hmm. Iron fence. Yeah, iron fence. Now, this uses refined iron. And to make refined iron, which is industrial craft, obviously, all you need to do is grab normal iron ingots put it in it doesn't have to be an iron furnace but i'm going to use an iron furnace put it in a, a furnace of some kind get some coal and cook the iron ingots and it will turn the iron ingots into refined iron see so i'm not going to wait for that to smell i'm just going to get some myself ah, there we go and we can turn that into iron fence, the recipe I think you saw. Iron fence, here we go. Yep, just refined iron in that shape. The reason that one looks a bit different is that is steel. And steel is from Railcraft, which is another mod which I could maybe do a tutorial on in the future. Now, iron fence is normal fence... Except, A, it doesn't connect to the side of other blocks, which is somewhat of an advantage, because if you're making like a mine shaft, have you noticed in the abandoned mine shafts, the posts holding up the supports for the ceiling stick to the walls? If you made one out of these, they wouldn't. Also, it, they connect to each other like normal fences. Um, you can't jump over them just like normal fences. And they're magnetic, which serves a purpose in the future. Um, they're one and a half blocks high, that's why you can't jump over them, but you can walk onto them from kind of there. Also, you can make kind of a neat kind of staircase type thing with them. Like, since they're one and a half... Since they're one and a half blocks high, you can make some kind of staircase like that. And you can get yourself higher. And I guess the sun sets on the basics of industrial craft. Oh, wait, 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 wait. First, I'll show you how to actually turn that resin into rubber. Also, I'll save one piece. Oh, lag, 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 lag. All right, put it in there. All you need to do to turn it into rubber is just smelt it. That's it. And also, it is placeable. This is a fact that not many people know of. You can place it on the ground. It looks like an orange blob. And it's, I don't know if you saw that, but it slows down anybody who walks through it, just like soul sand if it's only the height of snow. So you could use this for some kind of booby trap or it looks kind of like puke. You could have some kind of vomiting person sculpture or something. Something along those lines. And as you can see, we're smelting it into small rubber balls. Which are very, very useful in industrial craft. No, it's not called that anymore. And also, if we get six rubber, like that, and we put it in that shape, we can get three rubber sheets. And what these can do is, if we find a suitable spot, if you dig a hole and you place them over top of the hole, not in the hole, they have to be the block above the hole, See where I'm going with this? Get yourself up reasonably high. A bit higher than that. 
It's in copper blocks. And you jump down onto it. You go straight through it. So you can use that also as some kind of booby trap. So, yeah. That's how that works. And I, also, I think if you have blocks on enough sides in there like that, it's bouncy. I read that. It's just like a trampoline, but I'm not sure if that's true. Though I did read it on the wiki. Let's find out. Let's just move these copper blocks here. Alright, here goes. But I think it has to have a copper block on two of the sides. Nope. Apparently not. So yeah, it's just a booby trap thing, but you could have lava underneath it and people would jump down thinking it's safe and they just go straight through it and land in the lava. So I guess this signs off the first episode of Industrial Craft for Dummies, I think I called it. Was it dummies or newbies? or Let's go dummies. Industrial Craft for Dummies. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in episode two, where we will cover, probably get started on some basic power generation, ele electrical power. Start generating some electrical power in Minecraft. So, see you guys then. Bye.